Somewhere in the bowels of the city that never sleeps. Kevin McCullough, radio host with Salem Media. Is a man also not sleeping. Syndicated radio talk show host Kevin McCullough. And that guy would like a word with you. Many of you know him from as Lutz Trudamas. Of course that Kevin show is going to be great. The only thing that could be greater, of course, would be that Donald show. But we don't have that, so we have that Kevin show. Featuring the music of Dick Tunney and the Dream in Color Orchestra. And tonight on That Kevin Show, we go live to Tel Aviv with Dr. Melissa Jane Kronfeld. Then national security expert Nicole Parker weighs in. Funny lady Carmen Lynch stops by. A new Taylor and Travis sketch. And Dax, along with Darius Rucker, in the spotlight. And now, from Times Square, where a senile president is attempting to squeeze a mayor who is standing up for Israel, here's that Kevin! Well, sadly, I think that may actually be, in fact, true. One of uh, Mayor Adams' chief fundraisers had her apartment raided by the feds this week. Now, this is someone who's not in the administration of the mayor. This is someone who helped him raise a lot of money for his election. And I'm assuming she's going to help him raise a lot of money for his re-election if he decides to run again. That's kind of how it works. So the feds are all of a sudden, after he comes out and takes a strong stand against the president uh, and takes a very strong stand uh, standing by Israel. He decides he's, uh, he's well, we got we to gotta deal with that one. So here come the feds, dead of night, you know, marching people out in their underwear. Okay, we've got a concerning issue we've got to discuss. Watch this. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Secretary Mayorkas, let me start with you. You're familiar with the chant, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. You familiar with that? I am. Do you know what it means? I do. Can you explain it to us? Um, uh, Senator, that is a, um, a chant um, that speaks of uh, Palestinian desire for its homeland and a very expansive definition of its homeland at the expense of the independence of Israel. Well, indeed. I mean, it, it, it calls for the elimination of Israel, does it not? It does. So my question to you is, should students who are here on a visa, who gather and chant that slogan and actively advocate for the elimination of Israel and attacks on Jewish individuals, whether in the Middle East or here in the United States, as we're seeing on college campuses, should those students have their visas revoked? Uh, Senator, uh, I believe you are referencing a provision in the Immigration and Nationality Act uh, about which you have written uh, to me, and I am very familiar with uh, uh, your assertion that that statutory provision requires the revocation of their visa. But should they have their visas revoked? I'm asking you. Uh, uh, we are um, assessing um, your legal assertion. Um, it is a matter of legal interpretation of the statute. Well, just as a moral matter, I mean, should, should students who are here, foreigners who are here in this country, accessing our university system and advocating for the killing of Jews, should they be allowed to stay here at our leisure? Um, Senator, it is a matter of law and uh, it requires a legal interpretation, and I am not in a position to provide that legal interpretation. Just, and let me add something. Well, no, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I just, my time is very limited. I have to say I think your answer is disappointing, but let me ask you something else. Let, let me ask you about people who say other things. What about people who say things like, on October the 7th, F Israel, I'm cleaning up the language here, F Israel, the government and its military, are you ready for your downfall? People who say things like F Israel and any Jew who supports Israel. May your conscience haunt your dreams until your last breath. Palestine will be free one day. F apartheid Israel and is any Israeli. What, this is pretty extreme rhetoric, don't you think? Senator, um, I do, and I think there is a distinction between espousing or endorsing terrorist ideology 
and uh, speech uh, that is uh, odious, that does not rise to that um, level. Fair enough. This person works for you. This is Nuja Ali, an employee of the Department of Homeland Security, who posted these comments on October the 7th. That's not all she posted. She also posted this graphic. Now, this is a fake graphic, I want to be clear, but I think we understand it. This is a paraglider, a Hamas paraglider, depicted here with a machine gun flying into Israel. She posted it under her online alias with the celebratory Free Palestine. Mr. Secretary, what, what's going on here? Is this, is this typical of, of people who work at DHS? This is an asylum and immigration officer who is posting these, frankly, pro-genocidal slogans and images on the day that Israelis are being slaughtered in their beds. What have you done about this? Four things I'd like to say to you. Number one, your question to suggest that it, that is emblematic of the men and women of the Department of Homeland Security is despicable. Number I'm sorry, two, what have you done? This person works for the Department of Homeland Security. Have you fired her? That was one of four answers. Have you fired her? One. Have you fired her? Don't come to this hearing room when Israel has been invaded and Jewish students are barricaded in libraries in this country and cannot be escorted out because they are threatened for their lives. You have employees who are celebrating genocide and you are saying it's despicable for me to ask the question? Has she been fired? Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary. After um, the consumption of Senator Hawley's time, I'd like to speak. Has she been fired? Because I will we not would like be, an answer. Would you? Because I will not be given the opportunity. Has she been fired? So uh, that individual has been placed on administrative leave. So she's one. not been fired. Number two. Number Why has two, she not been fired? Number two, the individual was hired in 2019. Why has she not been number fired? Number three, I cannot speak to an ongoing personnel matter. Why? Why has this person not been fired? Your answer is you can't speak to it. This isn't sufficient to fire her? I am not in a position to speak to an ongoing personnel matter. This that isn't sufficient to fire her? That's what you're telling me? That is not what I'm saying. But she's still on your payroll as that, we sit here today. That is not what I'm saying. She's still on your payroll as we sit here today. Senator? How many cases? She was an asylum and immigration officer. How many cases did she adjudicate? Senator, I'm not in a position to speak about an ongoing person. I'm not asking about that. I'm asking you how many cases she adjudicated. My uh, answer remains. Did she adjudicate any cases involving Israelis seeking asylum in this country? Same answer. Well, let me just point you to what else she posted on social media, where she drew attention to the fact that she is an immigration and asylum officer. Hashtag immigrants, hashtag asylum seekers, hashtag Palestine, hashtag refugees welcome. This is on her LinkedIn post where she has her professional affiliation posted. So I think the American people deserve to know, has, has she admitted, contrary to law, individuals who should not be in this country or denied Jewish refugees, whose genocide she's advocating, asylum that they deserve? Same answer. You're not gonna, you're not gonna tell us what this person's done? Are you conducting a review of her cases at least? Senator, as I have said, over and over again, I cannot speak to an ongoing. You said that you will not. Matter. I can't believe that you would come to this committee knowing this. You know about this. I've written to you about it. You know all about it. And you come here unwilling to answer and suggest that it is wrong of me to ask you the question. Quite frankly, Mr. Secretary, I think that your performance is despicable. And I think the fact that you are not willing to provide answers to this committee is absolutely atrocious. What you just saw with your own eyes and heard with your own ears is the very real circumstance that we currently have at the Department of Homeland Security. At the Department of Homeland Security, Secretary Mayorkas, who touts his being the child of Holocaust survivors when it's convenient, somehow has been lulled into the idea that it's okay to let pro-Hamas terrorists work for his organization. And that's the Department of Homeland Security.
we need to call our congressmen and congresswomen and ask them to remove Mr. Mayorkas from his post, to impeach him. He's failed us on our border. And having openly anti-Semitic, terror-supporting terrorists working for him and unwilling to take them off the payroll, to me, is a, it's a breach of his duties. 202-224-3121 to call your congressman or woman. 202-224-3121. Kevin McCullough, I cannot believe what we're dealing with. A very special conversation with someone very important straight ahead. Don't miss this.